Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Friday the 17th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got up this morning way earlier than I should have, puppies were making noise and everybody had to get out, so got them up, got the dogs out, um, got them all back in, we got the puppies, um, got them out, got them played with, uh, played a lot of fetch with the older one. Um, end up leaving Sky out, which is the dog that's been acting like a turd to some of the other dogs. So she's been kind of isolating, but she seems to be getting along just fine with the puppies. So been letting them all play together. And it's mostly the little puppy running around sniffing and exploring stuff. Or once in a while grabs the ball, mostly the older puppy just playing fetch for like 35 minutes to an hour straight. Just constantly run, 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 and then nap that kind of thing. So Went ahead and got them all fed. Um, in the process of getting them fed, had another dog get dropped off, a little Zoe. Um, I watched Zoe quite a bit. Zoe is also kind of a weird dog that got attacked at the dog park a long time ago and now only seems to want to play if there's one dog out in the yard at a time. So I'm like, well, let's see how this goes. So I put Zoe and Skye outside with the puppies. So there's technically four dogs outside, but the one puppy didn't really have anything to do with it at all. Another dog didn't care. The older puppy didn't care at all. All she wants to do is play fetch. So Zoe and Sky got to play. And both of those have been on to other dogs before. But they got along splendidly well. They had such a great time. They played and got so much good running in and exercise and rough housing and chasing and laying down together and napping a little bit here and there. So spent a lot of time out there. And then I put them back in, those uh, four in. Brought the rest of the dogs out. Kind of kept those two isolated from the pack. Mostly just because... I just wasn't willing to do it. I wasn't willing to mess with the whole thing today. So kind of went through. They were all hanging out. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody's getting along splendidly well. Um, just in and out. I'd rotate the dogs. Rotate some in. Bring some out. Give them all breaks anyway. So got everybody all. The food's all separate. It takes a while to get them all fed. Because they're just. There's a bunch here. So got them all um, done. Got it all taken care of. Went ahead. Had a few other things around the house to get taken care of. Nothing major. Um, hanging out. Doing some more 3D printing. Just kind of messing with that stuff, having a good time with it. And then ended up um, going to get my run in. Got the dogs um, all situated away. Left the two kind of by themselves. And the rest were out there with mom. And then I had the two puppies in the back bedroom in their crates because they are just not, you can't leave them in the backyard for a minute unattended because they will tear up everything. So went ahead, got my run in, got that all wrapped up, got that done. Um, they came, picked up Zoe. Um, we chatted for a little bit and whatnot. They were up by Gainesville area, and there's a bedroom set up there I really like to have, supposedly made from teak wood. Um, and I can't tell if it's part of the teak overlay or whatnot, and the owner of it's been kind of not really the most expressive of answering the questions of whether or not it is like real wood or what it is. So went ahead and I told myself, so you know, should have, you know, just you guys go look at it for me, at least go by and look at it. And I said, yeah, a truck could have brought it back. They're like, actually, we have a truck. We could have done it. Their daughter lives up there. So I might actually work on next time they go. I've been in that process of like, hey, do I just offer them, like, you know, because it's like four hours. Like, it's a long ways to Gainesville kind of thing. So it kind of sucks, but their daughter lives there. So I thought I might actually talk to them like, hey, do me a favor. Go look at it. If it's, you know, real, you know, true wood and blah, blah, it's in good shape. Pick it up and nothing else. Go by and look at it for me and see if it's something that we can, you know, if you think I'd want it, then I'll drive up and get it myself kind of thing too. So and they said, yeah, they'd 100% be willing to do that. So who knows, we'll see if we can work that out. But we chat a little bit. Uh, my run went fine, no issues, no problems there. Went ahead from there, got back to the house, hung around for a little bit, ended up having some leftover um, rice. So mom ended up cooking up some of the chicken bites, I think they're called, they're like a spicy barbecue-y flavor. And there's no sauce, so she had some sweet and sour sauce and whatever she made for her sweet and sour chicken that I ended up putting on it. And then basically that was what we had for dinner. My wife ended up having like eggs and pancakes, I think, with like blueberry sauce or something on it. It looked really good, actually. So that's what she ended up eating. Uh, I guess her boss had been bringing uh, food to work for lunch. So she's been eating more at lunch than she normally would. So she's been having a much smaller dinner and going that route, which is working out fine for her. So from there, everything is chill. Had another dog get dropped off. We watched the dog multiple times during the day and then only one overnight. And overnight the dog just whined and cried all night long and would not would jump on the bed. It would lay there for eight to 12 minutes. I think 20 minutes long as they were laid down. Then it jumps down and stirs up their dogs and stuff. And it was just a pain in the butt. So finally ended up 
um, with her in the bathroom way back when the first overnight. So like, well, I might have been doing this tonight, so we'll see. And then um, Seamus got dropped off as well today. So now I've got a couple other dogs here that are also Seamus doesn't do very good at night. So everything was all good. Seamus out in the living room. Everything seemed fine. And then for whatever reason, Seamus started to bark at everything. <laughs> like the moment light moved outside, woke the whole house up, got the dogs all riled up. So I was like, oh my God damn it, why? So I got them in the bedroom, got them all settled in. Um, everything's good there. The dog played and stuff. Everybody was you know, getting all wore out, getting all, trying to get as much play as I can in them. And the new one I got today, that's I got the dog for 10 days straight. They're on a cruise. And it's the first time the other night when I watched the dog for the first time ever, the dog been away from them since I got it. It's a pandemic dog. So never goes anywhere without them there kind of thing. So it was definitely them stressing out a lot too. So they went and I told them to go to the vet and get some like Xanax doggy downers. And not even to risk it, I just gave her one of them tonight before I went to bed. Just figured we'll make sure at least the first night goes through without a problem. And I don't know if it made that big a difference or what, but she did pretty good. She got in the bed with us and kind of chilled out. She got a little bit hungry. The doodle was on the bed with us as well. And the doodle was being a little bit growly at the space, like it's my bed. And I'm like, no, it's my bed. I'm allowing you to be here, so you're gonna allow her to be up here. So kind of had that little talk with the dog and whatnot. So from there, Everything kind of slowed in. She ended up uh, jumping out at one point and went wandering around a little bit and whatnot. So it was all pretty good. Please. But overall, it was okay. one of those situations where she finally did settle down and it was not as bad as it was before but by any means. But I don't know if it's because she was just more chill at the house because she wasn't even really whining outside and stuff as bad either. Or if it was the fact that it was the drugs kicking in because I don't know how long it takes to, for those pills to kick in. So I gave it to her like right as we're heading to bed and I figured we'll see how it goes and it went pretty well. So ended up getting somewhat to bed at a decent hour. I came a little earlier than I normally would have, but overall it's a pretty good day. So being St. Patrick's Day, there's a lot of Facebook drama and people having just that drunken, mess of stuff i'm so glad i'm not in that world i just yeah no interest in all in that so but yeah that's pretty much what the day was pretty simple um laid back day and overall really good layout so that's all i got for now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching